Hi, I'm John Twist with University Motors. Today I want to show you about overdrive gearbox electrical switches. I had a call today during my technical time, which is between 1 and 2 Eastern Standard Time, and I answer uh, technical questions. You can call, no problem at all. Look on our website, you get the details and the phone number. Anyway, I had a call today about the electrical switches on the overdrive. So Andrew's going to focus down here on an overdrive gearbox that we have built and I want to show you how the switches work. First of all, we're going to test our test light. Our test light works. I'm just hooked up to a 12 volt battery. Our first switch here is our reverse light switch and you'll see that when we enter reverse, the light goes on. That's easy. And you can get to the switch. However, the difficult switch, this is the most um, the most hidden, the most di difficult of all the electrical switches in the car and you must make sure this works before you put your overdrive in. This is the third, fourth lockout switch which goes continuous when we go into third or fourth gear into the third, fourth gate which is a spring-loaded gate. So if we're in third or if we're in fourth it's going to be continuous. That's hooked up along with the overdrive switch to keep you from engaging overdrive in reverse, first, or second. Now we're going to take a look at a couple other switches which might be on your overdrive. Now in 1977, at the beginning of 1977, at the introduction of the TCSA circuit, the Transmission Controlled Spark Advance, that went continuous in fourth gear only. Now just before I showed you that switch which went continuous in third and fourth. Let's look at with their, intermediate, or their intermediate solution to get it to work only in fourth. Here, up here, and this is very dreadfully dirty, I apologize. I had to look all over the shop to find this one because you hardly ever find them. This is a micro switch. We're going to hook it up here. We'll test our test, our test light. It works. We're going to put it in here. This micro switch goes continuous in fourth, in second, and I don't think I can get to reverse in reverse. And that's when this shaft here is pulled to, to the, uh, the gear lever is pulled to the rear and the shaft moves to, to the front. So if we hook this switch in series with the overdrive switch, then the only time that we end up with a hot circuit is when we're in third and fourth or, and we're in second, reverse, or fourth. So the only time that it, it goes continuous is when it's in fourth gear. I'll sketch this on a board in a minute. Now let me show you one last switch which may be on your remote control which can confuse things. Lastly we have the switch which goes on the remote control in 73 and 74 that was used with the seat belt interlock system. Let's take a look at this one. This is a, a remote control only. It's got the overdrive switch but on the side here, I, Andrew can come down and take, take a look. Here's this little switch on the side. Test our test light. Okay, here, here we go. And we'll put him in on the other terminal here. And look at this. We're in fourth. We're in third. We're in second. Uh, we're in reverse. We're in first. We're in, four, in, in the third. So whenever you come out of neutral, the switch goes continuous. That was to allow a squealer to operate and the light to come on to let you know that you were in gear and your seat belt wasn't on. Now let me take a, a moment and sketch this on the board so you can see the circuit. All right, here's the electrical circuit. We always start at the battery. We're going to end at our solenoid. 68 through 76, we've got the switch on the column. Okay, switch on the column. And then we come down to our switch which is our third fourth lockout switch. This is third and fourth lockout and this is the overdrive switch. So this switch has to be closed and the third fourth lockout switch has to be closed to complete the circuit. Real easy. And again this third fourth keeps you from engaging in, in first, second, or reverse. Now let's take a look at the 77 through 80 circuit. Alright, this is the 77 through 1980 circuit. The first switch that we have is the third fourth lockout switch. The second switch we have on the intermediate models is the um, reverse second fourth lockout switch. And that comes down to our TCSA circuit. 
From here, we go to the switch up on the uh, gear, le gear lever, so our third fourth has to be closed. You have to be in third or fourth. Our reverse second fourth has to be closed, and the overdrive switch has to be closed to engage the solenoid. Later, this was simplified. As I said, later this was simplified, and we went to a switch which went continuous only in fourth gear. So in fourth gear, we go up to our transmission controlled spark advance circuit, which is up on your brake master cylinder box. And if you have overdrive, you can engage overdrive now, and that will work. The overdrive circuit is pretty simple. All you need is a 12 volt battery, which is already in your car and a test light. And you can check each circuit position to position to see how they work. If you have any questions, call me during my tech time. Be sure to go onto our website, take a look, and remember that we've got some stuff for sale on uh, eBay, my technical book, which does not have the circuit in it. However, if you do need copies of your circuits, call me during tech time and I can make a copy or something and send it to you. It's always a pleasure. See you guys tomorrow.